This is episode two of explaining entomology to my friends. Yesterday, me and Red's Mayhem talked for a while about entomology, and he seemed not only fascinated by it, but also a little bit scared by it. I don't blame him. Lots of people are afraid of stinging insects, but here it is. All right, so I'm joined here by Red's Mayhem. Hello. This is the second episode to a new series I'm creating. Last time I showed Mr. Oven some bugs. This time I'm going to be showing him some bugs. So right here I got a nice selection of wasps. So I'm going to start off the same way I did with Mr. Oven. You know what Hymenoptera is, right? Um, I studied your video. It's a scale of pain from a bug sting, I think. No, so that's the Schmidt pain index. Oh. It's the order of stinging insects. Hymenoptera is split up into ants, bees, and wasps. So what I'm going to be showing okay. you is wasps. You know what a wasp is, right? I'm pretty sure we've all been stung by yeah. one. Starting off with... Yeah. If I can get a... There. Starting off with this guy right here. You know what that is? That's a cow killer. The caterpillar? No, cow killer. Oh, cow killer? Yep. So these do live in Idaho. These don't actually kill cows. Their name is extremely okay. exaggerated. And they okay. have the fourth worst insect sting in the world. Okay. Wait, do they live in Idaho? Yes. But oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure you've heard of this. This is the largest wasp in the world. Okay. The murder hornet. Oh, those things. They are pretty deadly, but, but I don't really think the name murder hornet is necessary. <laughs> but, okay. More than two stings from these guys can be fatal. Um, oh. In 2020, they were found as an invasive species here in the U.S. And the most scary part is they were found in the state right next to us. Washington. And so far, they've eradicated four nests of these guys, but there's a pretty good chance that there, there's a nest here in Idaho. <laughs> what? I'm scared now. This is the Steel Blue Cricket Hunter. I actually made an entire video on this. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. This one day I tried getting it, I couldn't get it, and I was freaking out like, what if they're not here tomorrow? But they were, and I caught it. Yeah. Hey, Wait, we, I have a question. What? Aren't all, like, wasps supposed to be yellow, or no? No. And believe okay. it or not, not all wasps sting. Some of them don't even have stingers. Like, oh. there's a species of wasp called a cuckoo wasp. There's these, okay. they're like, they get up to, like, a centimeter long, and they are bright green. Some, some of them are even rainbow, which is really weird. They have no stingers. They have this thing called an ovipositor. And they, like, use them to, like, deposit eggs into, like, um, trees, other bugs. Yeah. Really cool wasp in the family Sphesidae. And really glad I have it. All right. This is perhaps the most terrifying thing your nightmares can ever conceive. This right here is a tarantula hawk. That looks very scary. And the yeah. name is scary. Yeah, and here's the even scarier part. This is small for a tarantula hawk. They get way bigger. And they live in oh, Arizona. Great. Like, literally two states under us. Oh. Yay. They have bright orange wings, and they kind of glimmer a bluish-purplish color in, the, in okay. the light. Normally, they get up to two inches long, so that's literally this big. That's big. Yep. Very common in Arizona, so if you live in Arizona, don't mess with these guys. Okay. Noted. I forgot the most important part. Where they get their name? Um, so in Arizona, I don't know if you know this, but in Arizona, there are tarantulas. So, this is a terrifying life cycle, but so, like all insects, these guys start off as larvae. So what they do is a female, they will find a tarantula. They will sting oh. this. These have the second worst wasp sting in the entire world. They will sting it, 
They won't kill it. They will paralyze it. They will permanently paralyze the tarantula. And it, it'll drag it into a hole, lay an egg on it, and bury it up. Later, oh. while the, it's still alive, okay? After a while, the egg will hatch into a larvae, and it'll eat, eat the tarantula, tarantula alive. That, that's, that's, that's scary. Believe it or not, almost every wasp does that. Here's the cicada killer. Okay. These are, this is the eastern cicada killer, so they are found on the eastern part of the United States. Other people from my family who li also live on the eastern side of the United States, so like my grandma, my uncle, you know. So my uncle went out one time, he saw this cicada killer in the middle of paralyzing a cicada. He caught okay. both of them, preserved them, and sent it to my house. Oh, that's so, cool. I was able to get... An insect I was wanting to get for a long time, mm -hmm. and... That's cool. Yep. Look at that stinger. Yeah. Something you probably would not want to mess with. That's all. Um, thanks for joining me, cool. Red's Mayhem. Subscribe to him. He makes pretty funny videos, and pretty interesting yeah. videos. I never knew you had a go-kart. Yeah, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.